The two new dark side characters in the Ahsoka series are turning out to be way more important and potentially way more powerful than all of us originally anticipated. And in today's holocron, we will be breaking down comments concerning the orange lightsabers, why the coloration is extremely important, as well as behind the scenes information about the fighting styles of both Balin and Shin, the two dark side antagonists in the Ahsoka series. Thanks to a recent interview with Ray Stevenson, we learned that Grand Admiral Thrawn and Balin actually know each other quite well, saying, quote, when you see Balin actually get to meet Thrawn, you wonder if this is the first time or the last time. What's going on here? What's the dynamic? That's something else that fans will discover. There have also been massive hints that perhaps these are not fully dark side wielding enemies, as, of course, the orange coloration, as stated by Dave Filoni, was very intentional, as Dave Filoni wanted to distinguish them from a regular dark sider, creating something new. Dave Filoni said this, I made them a little bit more orange. It's very intentional. I didn't want to just make them stark red. I remember as a kid that Vader's lightsaber kind of fluctuated from visual effects being a little more orange. I didn't want to make the lightsaber straight up orange, but it's identifying a little bit of something to kids that they might not straight up be what you think they are in the beginning. It's good that you caught that. Well, Dave Filoni basically says here that they still pull inspirations from the light side of the Force, and that the orange lightsabers signify that they have not completely embraced the ways of the dark side, like a normal dark Jedi or a Sith might. This has drawn a lot of comparisons to Legends continuity to the Imperial Knights, and even some comparisons to the Gen Sarai. The Gen Sarai and Legends continuity were a group of sort of gray Jedi, a term that no longer exists in Star Wars canon. However, the Gen Sarai, who were originally Jedi, believed that the Jedi Order were in fact the evil ones, and that they had destroyed the Sith wrongfully. Therefore, they accidentally followed the dark side of the Force, and were staunchly against the Jedi for many generations. They wielded the dark side of the Force unknowingly, and falsely believed that the Jedi were the villains of previous wars. And although the Gen Sarai were dark side wielders, they did not believe in fully embracing and turning to the dark side, instead learning to hone it and viewing the Force from a different perspective. Thanks to various leaks from making Star Wars, we've learned that Balin may originate from a part of the galaxy that is not in the known regions, and this is how he first meets and interacts with Grand Admiral Thrawn when he is exiled there. What's even more interesting about Balin is he seems to have access and knowledge of the World Between Worlds, an extremely powerful location in Star Wars lore. The World Between Worlds, also known as the Virgin Scatter, was a mystical plane within the Force that served as a collection of doors and pathways existing between time and space linking all moments in time together as one. Meaning that if Balin and Shin have access to the world between worlds, they can change the course of Star Wars history and the galaxy forever, bending it to their very will, and Ahsoka must stop him. In terms of other information we learned, thanks to making Star Wars again, we have heard that Balin and Shin are extremely skilled with the lightsaber, and are some of the most terrifying duelists that we have seen in quite some time. It is stated that Shin is extremely quick and accurate with her blade, and that Balin is far more focused on power strikes. It is even stated that every time Balin clashes lightsabers with another individual in Ahsoka, that the audience will feel the magnitude of his strikes. This is of course intentional, as the two have paired their fighting styles to match each other perfectly, filling in the gaps of one with the speed of Shin and the ferocity and power of Balin. What's unique about this order is they exist outside of what the Jedi and Sith have known before. They are a new type of dark side wielding threat, as it was previously confirmed that the Ahsoka Ahsoka series would be exploring and discovering new regions in the Star Wars galaxy that we have never seen before. In addition to this, there was also a report that Shin has great ties to the Night Sisters, and that Grand Admiral Thrawn is very much interested in using her quote, magic, to revive an ancient dead army, or perhaps even an army of dead stormtroopers. This is significant to both characters, as it represents the dark side of the Force taking a different form, and that is why these two characters are so intriguing. They are very much indeed dark side wielders, but wield a version of the dark side that we have not seen before. Therefore, the colors of their lightsabers are not stark red, rather this orange. Going back to Shin and the Night Sisters though, magic, also known as shadow magic or force magic, was an aspect of the force and supernatural technique that allowed a practitioner to wield great powers connected to the dark side. The Night Sister Witches of Dathomir were wielders of this magic, with Night Sister Old Daka being the most powerful. There were rumors that Balin was actually shielded from Order 66 from Grand Admiral Thrawn, and that originally 
originally, Balin was in fact a Jedi Master, and it's likely that he discovered a new version of the Dark Side of the Force, or a different aspect on the Dark Side of the Force in his exile, with it being described that Balin is a sort of trump card for Grand Admiral Thrawn to combat other Force sensitives, Force sensitives such as Ahsoka Tano and Luke Skywalker. But of course, the Unknown Regions have changed this old Jedi Master, and he has taken upon himself a new protege with ties to the Night Sisters. What's interesting about this is Balin represents the beginnings and the fall of the Jedi and their transformation. In a lot of ways, he may actually be what Dooku desired for the Jedi, learning to embrace the dark side of the Force to some extent in order to further their own goals. I believe that these very ideals are reflected in the Orange Blades, and that the lightsaber crystals did undergo some sort of bleeding process. However, with one very key difference from the red lightsabers as wielded by the Sith. I believe that the bleeding of an orange lightsaber crystal is not just pouring emotions such as hatred, fear, and anger into the crystal itself, but rather your complete identity in the Force. It's clear that Balin and Shin hold a strong allegiance to the dark side, However, there are still light side ideals and the ideals of the Jedi that remain. Unlike the Sith, who attempt to inflict pain upon this crystal, they simply pour their emotions into it. In Legends continuity, orange lightsabers had a very important meaning and were often wielded by Jedi, Jedi such as Plo Koon and Master Yaddle. Orange lightsabers represented a deep compassion and understanding of the living force and those that surround the galaxy. It was actually purely a light side blade. However, also in Legends continuity, it was it was stated that the greatest fighter that the Sith had ever seen in Tulik Horde also wielded an orange lightsaber, and it is possible that there is a similar coloration that exists in the dark side as well. One thing about Balin and Shin is for certain though, they are extremely important. They wield a version of the Force, or at least have a view on the Force that is very different from what we've seen before, and they are extremely powerful. So my friends and fellow acolytes, what are your thoughts on this, and what are your thoughts on all this brand new information coming out about Balin and the this new dark side threat. What are the true origins of Balin and his apprentice, and what role will they be playing in Ahsoka? As always, my friends, thank you so much for watching and visiting our archives. May the Force be with you, and have a great day.